Back at y'all with some more boxing news and updates. You already know this your boy Love on the Hate One. Let's go ahead and talk about this real quick. And I'm just going to give my quick recap of what I saw. Man, that knockout was crazy, man. Nobody's seen this shit. Don't get up here and lie talk about, oh, you knew he was going to knock out Francis Ngannou like this. I thought if he knocked out Francis, it was going to be when Francis got tired. He knocked him out in the second round when he still had a whole bunch of energy. Man, this was wild. But you got to give props to Anthony Joshua, man. It's looking like he might just destroy Tyson Fury. And you may have to give him a chance in the Usyk rematch. Well, maybe I shouldn't go that far. But, man, y'all, this knockout was crazy. Um, Francis Nagano, man, the dude was so unconscious, he couldn't even hold a post-fight interview. It looked like he was still hurt when he was talking to Anthony Joshua, giving him a hug and stuff. It's funny because... Francis Ngannou showed heart. I feel like he should still stay in the heavyweight division. He just needs to stay away from Anthony Joshua. But it is what it is. And sometimes that's just how the cookie crumble, especially in the heavyweight division, y'all. Any man can go. Francis Ngannou could have hit Anthony Joshua with a clean shot, and he could have went. He just got caught first and in a devastating way. But that's just my quick recap to what happened. I still want to see Francis fight again. I'm out.